Hi everyone, let's solve for the value of the area of the shaded portion. Now, I'm going to explain this in details. First of all, this is not drawn to scale, please. And this is a quadrant of a circle. The radius from what we can see is 12. Okay. So, and this is the radius of the circle as well. So, that simply means that OA is equal to the radius divided by 2, right, which is equal to 6. Because AC is a, AC is a diameter. So, OA is half of the diameter, which is 6. So, here is 6. Now, let us join from here to here. Let's join from here to here. So, if we do that, we have something like this. Right. Now, AD is also is a radius. Okay? It's also the radius of this circle. So, it simply means that this is equal to 12 units as well. So, let's write here as 12 units. Now, this is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees. Now, let me explain what I'm trying to do. First, we are asked to find the area of the shaded portion. Okay, now area of the shaded portion is going to be equal to, now this is what, a sector of a circle. Remember that this is not drawn scale, so this is supposed to be somehow curved here, more than this. Okay, but because it's a freehand sketch, I wasn't able to get it that curved. So, ACD is a sector of a circle, is the sector of this circle. So, the shaded portion is going to be ACD, area of ACD minus we have this triangle here right area of this triangle minus area of this particular quarter of a circle that is a quadrant so let's go ahead and write that and then focus on finding our value now let the area of the shaded portion be equal to a so a is going to be equal to the area of the sector which is a c d a c d minus area of this triangle AOD triangle AOD minus this quadrant area of this quadrant let's call this point the meeting point P okay so it's going to be minus OPC OPC okay now first of all we cannot get the quadrant the sector area of the sector without this angle and we also need this to find the area of this triangle. So in triangle AOD, in triangle AOD, AOD, we can see using Pythagorean theorem, using Pythagorean theorem, using Pythagorean theorem, so we can say, that 12 squared, okay, so 12 squared is equal to 6 squared plus OD squared, 6 squared plus OD squared, okay, so if we transfer this to this side, we have 12 squared minus 6 squared is equal to OD squared, now remember that A squared minus B squared is equal to A minus B, multiplied by a plus b so this will be 12 minus 6 multiplied by 12 plus 6 is equal to od squared so 12 minus 6 we give us 6 and um, 12 plus 6 we give us 18 is equal to od squared so 6 times 8 is 48 write 8 and carry 4 6 times 1 is 6 plus 4 is 10 is equal to O D squared. All right, so take square root of both sides. Take square root of both sides. We are going to have square root of 108 is equal to square root of O D squared. All right, so 108 can be simplified. Let's simplify it. When 2 divide this, we have 54. When 2 divides this, we have 27. 3 we divide to give us 9. 3 we divide to give us 3. 
and three we divide to give us one now we group in twos okay two identical numbers because this is square root so two times two is four we have three and three again three times three is nine so it simply means that square root of 108 can be expressed as square root of 4 times 9, which is 36, multiplied by square root of 3, is equal to square root of O d squared. Now square root of 36 is 6, so we have 6 root 3 is equal to O d. So let's go ahead and fill that in. Okay, so we have this to be 6 root 3. Alright, now we need to get this angle. Let's call it angle theta. Now remember that we need it because we, we, we are going to make use of it while finding the area of this sector. Okay, now opposite over adjacent is tan, right? So we can say tan in triangle in triangle OAD, right? In triangle OAD, we can say that tan theta, tan theta is equal to the opposite is 6 root 3 and the adjacent is 6. So it's going to be 6 root 3 over 6. So tan theta is equal to root 3. Now, what is this telling us? What theta than what we give us root 3 and that is than 60. So this implies that theta is 60 degrees. Okay. So let's replace this with 60 degrees. All right. Now I think we are all set. Right? Yeah, I think so. Now let's go ahead and find the area of this shaded portion. Now, remember that the area of the shaded portion is equal to the area of the sector, area of this sector. So, A is equal to, now, sector of a circle, the area is theta over 360 times pi r squared. Okay? So, minus area of this triangle, which is half base times height, right? Half base times height minus minus now this sector uh, this quadrant of a circle the area of a circle is pi r squared so the quadrant should be one over four pi r squared okay so the area should be equal to now the area is easy right remember that our theta is 60 degrees so it's going to be 60 divided by 360 times pi is normal r now the radius of this sector is 12 right is 12 so we have times 12 minus half times the base of this triangle triangle a o d right the base is 6 root 3 so we have 6 root 3 multiplied by the height is 6, 6, minus 1 over 4 multiplied by pi multiplied by, now the radius of our quadrant, which is this, is the same thing as OE, right, which is 6, so multiply by 6 squared, all right, so this is multiplied by 12 squared, this squared, R squared. So our area then is when 60 divides this, we have 6, right? So we have 12 squared, which is 144 pi divided by 6. Then minus this, we divide this, we have 3. So we have 3 times 6, 18 root 3 minus 1 over 4 pi. Then 6 squared is 36. Okay. So our A. Is equal to now when 6 divided itself 1 if we divide 14 if we divide 14 we have 2 2 remainder 2 divides 24 we have 4 okay so this is 24 pi minus 18 root 3 minus when 4 divides this we have um, 9 okay so this is going to be 9 pi 
Therefore, area is 24 pi minus 9 pi should give us 15 pi, right? 15 pi minus 18 root 3. Now, if we solve this further, we have that area is... Now, let us use... Um, Let's use our calculator. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use. So I'm pressing it off camera. So 15 pi, 15 multiplied by pi, will give us 47.12 approximately minus then 18 root, um, root 3 will give us 31.18 approximately. Therefore, the area will be equal to an approximate value of 15.95 centimeters squared or unit squared. Okay, so that is the area of the shaded portion. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.